all love having good habits, don't we? For example, every morning I get up and go for a walk, listen to the birds singing, enjoy the nature amongst the trees. Or I brush my teeth after every meal. These are habits that I really like and makes me feel good. However, there are also habits that we don't like that much, that don't work for us. Biting nails, smoking, drinking, all the things that we would rather not do but can't help doing. Addictions, compulsions. We don't feel good about doing them, do we? In this video, I would like to explore with you if those habits are taking us somewhere new. Each habit has got two components, emotional and behavioral. Let's look at the emotional hook first. Our body, mind and soul would like to work in harmony together, but often they, they, they are not. And our higher self usually sends us unconscious messages through these bad habits of ours to look at it, to make things in more harmony. In order to find out these emotional hooks, I suggest you ask this question. How is my bad habit helping me? What is the good purpose behind it? The answer to this question may not come easily because as I said, the process is unconscious. Sometimes even in therapy it can take long time. Once you discover, like my client did, it was a way for her to reconnect with her mother with whom she had very little in common but they both were biting nails. Now that she discovered, next stage is to find a way of connecting with her mother without needing this symptom, this bad habit. How to do this? Sometimes this happens through a dream, sometimes by watching a video like this or reading a blog post or sessions of therapy might help. But what you need to know is that you are special. Even though the symptoms may be similar with another, the meanings and the processes in which they occur and they will be resolved are very personal to you. So, you need to find your own solutions. Let's look at the behavioral component. Each habit has got three parts. The trigger, the behavior itself and the reward. Let's take the overeating habit. The trigger is usually an inner tension. Once the tension comes as a trigger, the habit comes. One goes to the kitchen and eats something. The reward is the release of tension. Usually, people tend to declare war against their bad habit. They want to get rid of them, but it rarely works and it makes the person feel even worse about themselves for failing. My suggestion is to replace with a new, more functional, useful habit. The first step is to observe and recognize the triggers. When does this inner tension arise? And once this trigger occurs, the next stage is to replace with a new behavior. If we are talking about overeating, for example, you can replace it with drinking water or chewing gum. Scientists tell us that it takes about 21 days to establish a new habit. For the first 21 days, you need to be intentionally connecting your new habit, your new behavior with this trigger. After that, I assure you, you will feel that it's automatic. A bit like driving the car. When you do it long enough, it becomes automatic. I hope that in this video, I was able to show you changing habits. Once you know your emotional and behavioral hooks and undo them, even though it requires effort and time, it's possible. You and your loved ones are significant. To receive regular tips to help you achieve more autonomy, visit my page.